This tutorial explains how to handle the error message error in hist default x must be numeric in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called my data. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a data object containing 200 numbers. And you can also see that these numbers are formatted as character strings. So if we apply the hist function to these data, as we usually would if we want to create a histogram, then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message in hist default x must be numeric is returned. And the reason for that is that our data is formatted as a character. We can also see that by applying the class function to our data object, as you can see in line eight of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that the class of our data object is the character class. However, if we want to draw a histogram, our data needs to have the numeric class. So for that reason, we need to change the class of our data to the numeric class, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the sNumeric function to our data object, and I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which I'm calling my data num. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called my data num. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that this data object contains the same numbers as our input data object. However, this time the data is formatted as numeric data. So if we want to draw our histogram based on these data, then we can apply the hist function to this new data object, as you can see in line 13 of the code. And after running this line of code, our histogram is drawn at the bottom right of our studio. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.